Debt challenges can often become a lot more manageable by breaking down the detail, finding out exactly what figure it, to the nearest cent, to the nearest penny, exactly what figure is owed to each creditor organisation. When you've done that, you are in so much more control because all of a sudden, instead of some giant figure that's unknown, that's vague and has no definition to either edge of it, what you have is a detailed breakdown of the actual numbers and then you can and i'm being logical but you can step out of the fear and the emotion and the total sense of overwhelm and you can start to pick off the bills in a sequence that works sometimes you have a snowball effect where you take the smallest debt you pay it off fastest and you make small payments to all the others or we can establish something else and you can look at a situation where you make a percentage proportionate payment to every single one of your creditors using the example I talked about with Nigel and Kate when they came to the Money Advice Centre at the local town hall. Find a pattern that works and during the course of these videos I'm going to be sharing some notes and some ideas from the book Climbing Out of Debt so that you can take examples and work through something that is meaningful and helpful to yourself and allows you to take back control of your household budget and your personal finance. When you're facing debt and it feels like you're out of control and you don't know what to do, there are three things you absolutely have to take action on. The first one is look for support. Like Nigel and Kate, they went to a local money advice centre within the town hall. In every city around the world, there is a team working probably with the local authority who is very involved in the service of debt support, money advice guidance, dealing with creditors on your behalf if you're nervous or scared or simply don't know what to do. Number one, look for support. Second thing to do is to talk about the issue. If you are a single person and you're in debt, pick up the phone, talk to your best friend, book some private time with them, sitting around a table at home in the kitchen, just looking at the numbers. If you're scared to open the envelopes, Ask that friend to help you open the post. Throw away all the, except the most recent statement. That will get rid of a huge amount of paperwork from your house. And with you throwing that away, shredding it, burning it, getting rid of it, so too do your fears and your stress and your worry diminish as you end up with perhaps 20 pieces of paper instead of hundreds of unopened envelopes. The third thing to do is having identified the debt that you have and the debt that you feel you have been unable to repay in full, adjust your lifestyle. It might be the case that you owe the equivalent of six months worth of wages, 18 months worth of wages, three years worth of wages. I don't mean to belittle it when I say that it doesn't matter because it is significant and it's a big cause of concern and worry and possibly sleepless nights and worries about who's ringing when the phone rings or who's knocking on the front door if it's not the postman. I don't want to be little. It, it is significant and it is important to you. But adjust your lifestyle to match your circumstances. If you're living a $5,000 a month lifestyle and your income is 3500 there's a $1,500 gap that you have to close immediately. If you think you can shop at brand one stores and department stores and boutiques, and in fact your budget means you've got to adjust to level three shopping, you need to adjust. There is nothing other than tough love here when I say cut your cloth according to what your budget is. You have to, number three, adjust your lifestyle. Those three things are look for support, talk about the issue and adjust your lifestyle. My book Climbing Out of Debt contains lots of ideas and practical actions you can take to speed up, to accelerate the process of letting go of your debt and paying down your debt, but you do it one day at a time. Feel free to subscribe here and to pick up on new lessons as I share them in the whole process of climbing out of debt.